hello everybody welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to see how you can sort your imports in any of your javascript projects using prettier now if you are using prettier in your project right now itself you can do that very easily if you are not using prettier you can install it by if i just open up the terminal you can also do this with by going terminal and new terminal and you can simply npm install prettier and as a dev dependency so you can install it as with this flag uh, minus uppercase d and this will install prettier in your project so what you can do right over here is you will you can confirm it by checking it okay here's the prettier and you can create a file named dot prettier rc now in this file you will have all the settings and configuration for for prettier right now this is my configuration you can choose any configuration you want now what I want to do here is I want to sort the imports in every single file so if we take a look at for example pages and let's look at underscore app for example now this is a next.js project but you don't need to be in a next.js project you can be in any project you want so if you see these are the imports and I want to sort them so I can either go ahead and manually sort them which is really tedious for me at least so manually sorting them is really tedious what if whenever I format this code so for instance you know if you know there's something like uh, if I just you know change anything in the code now you know whenever I save the file prettier in VS code formats it so if I save it it gets formatted automatically so I wanted this to happen automatically this to be sorted automatically we can do that really easily so right now if you take a look at the files everything is like junked up in one single thing now to format it using prettier first of all the first step is to install prettier and then second step is to create this configuration file dot prettier rc now what you can do is you can install a plugin a prettier plugin so here's this prettier plugin it's by uh, it's by trivago so at trivago slash prettier plugin sort imports now you can simply install this as a dev dependency so first of all let's copy this we can go back to prettier and uh, we can go back to vs code and we can npm i you can also use i instead of install and then we add dash d to install it as a dev dependency now just as you install any normal npm package it's gonna get installed so once it's installed now you can use this inside of your prettier configuration so how exactly do you use it let's go back so this is the install you can i'll leave this link in the description below so that you can check this out here is the usage so what you can do is you can add these three lines and then it's gonna handle everything so let's copy this we can go ahead and add a comma and paste it so as you can see first of all we're not gonna mess with these two lines it says separation of the imports so like they are separate separate with an extra enter in between so they are separated with an extra line in between and then uh, specifiers for sorting and all that we're not gonna mess with these what we have to change is this that you see right over here so this is the order of the imports it's an array of regular expressions so the default one is like this it has at core slash and then whatever so you know any import that starts with at core it's gonna come at first then at server will come at the second one at UI will come third and the other ones will come right over here so what we can do is we can change it according to our preference so if I open up the index file right over here as you can see these are the thing and you can also look at your directory structure if you want so I have a folder called assets I have a folder called components and utils and this is exactly what I want to look at so these are the three folders from where I import stuff and if I go to pages and underscore app I also import the global store CSS but it starts from dot dot slash so I don't need to worry about that now what you can do is we can go ahead and we can change this behavior so for the order of this one let's look at the underscore app first of all what I personally want is the next JS imports to be at the top so any import that starts with next I want it to be at the top so what I can do is I can say next slash and then whatever you know whatever that is now after the next js imports 
what I want is the other third party packages to be after the Next.js imports. So what I can do is these three that you see right over here, this is what I want to be on the next ones. So what I can do for that is I can simply go ahead and replace this with this third party modules. So uh, this plugin right over here provides the direct third party modules. You can just add this instead of a regular expression and it's going to detect what are third party modules and then it's just gonna add those so the problem right over here one only problem is that it will also count this as a third party module but we don't have to worry about this because it's a small thing so once this is done third party modules next up we want to next up we want our components so this folder right over here and if i go to for example in the index so these are the components so what i can do is i can go ahead and simply change the ui to components that's how the import starts and uh, after components i want my utils that you see right over here so let's copy the components let's add this after the comma and then i can change components to utils and after utils finally i will have the last one which is assets and after assets it's just going to be dot slash so anything that comes after that is going to be dot slash so this is all we need for our configuration now if i go into index and if i were to save it so control s it's gonna format it so you see first of all next head and then we got next and then this now the problem that you see right over here is that it says it adds next head to the top and then the next import uh, and if you look closely it's like you know we added next and then slash after that Uh, we don't exactly want that so what we can do is we can simply remove next completely you know any any third party module which will uh, that will come you know any third party module can come to the top and even for that we don't need this inside of the array so we can remove that and save and now if i save the file as you can see we got next and then next head after that and then components after that so if i go to underscore app and i save this one you can see all of these are right over here uh, the only thing that we have to change is this is a file that I import manually so what I can do is I can copy this I can go back to prettier RC and I can put that before components so I can add a string and simply add this so now if I save it you see this is separate from everything else and CSS is obviously separate and if I want this to be separate as well I can simply you know what copy and paste the font source one and then I can go back and duplicate this. I can use Alt Shift down. Let's go down there after assets and we can add this at font source and then slash whatever that is. So save that. Let's go back and you see this is separated and this is separated as well. Now once all that is done in underscore app and index, we can uh, we can technically go into each and every file and then format those. For example, this contributors, if I save this you see fs next path and then the components now we can do that but i don't want to format every single file so i can simply go inside of uh, well if i go to package or json there's a script the format script so prettier dash dash write it's going to write everything that is ts or tsx or json so it's going to format everything so we can simply go into the terminal and we can say npm run format and then Let's wait for it to complete formatting everything. Now the problem that occurred is that it also formatted .next folder which we don't want to format, right? So what we can do is we can go ahead and create one more file that's .prettier ignore. Now this file, whatever you put inside of this file, it's gonna prettier is gonna ignore those. For example, we don't want .next to be formatted. We don't want node modules to be formatted. Um, then we don't want the lock files so uh, I can say star dash lock dot JSON this means the package lock JSON and then we don't want the yes that's all that's all we need so now we can go ahead and format again npm run format and this time around it will not format the dot next folder node modules folder and so on so you see it formats everything but you don't see not dot next here once all that is done let's go into components and let's go into cart you'll see that 
nothing really changed here because there's nothing special here if i go to for example hero you see assets on, is on a different line than these two if you take a look closely there is nothing much changed in these component files because we just import from third party modules but in the repos language you see these are third party modules and these are the components and these are the utils so everything is separated as we want it to be and that's it for import sorting now you can go ahead and add this to your application simple steps install prettier configure prettier with the prettier rc file then install this library or this plugin from trivago and then go ahead and configure it to your needs and finally just format all the code you want and that's it for this video guys i hope you like it share it to others and finally thanks for watching mm -hmm.